All right, guys, in 2014, when I started woodworking, I knew nothing about tools. I knew nothing of miter saws or table saws or even sanders. I didn't know anything about them. When I started learning about those things, I learned about Festool. Immediately, because I was broke, had no skills in the woodworking trade, and was just a pessimist in general, I told myself there was no way that I would ever spend that much money on any given tool at any given time. It's just ridiculous. Well, today, I make the 2014 version of myself a liar. Today, I'm going to show you guys my brand new sander and explain to you why it is worth it to dish out the money for a tool like this. All right, so the specific sander that I'm going to be talking about today is the EC125 Random Orbit Sander from Festool. I'm going to tell you everything about it, what makes it different from its competition, and also what makes it different from the other products that Festool offers. I'll also explain to you why I finally broke down and got this sander and stopped using 20, 30, 40, and 50 dollar sanders. Before I get into it, please let me know in the comment section down below if you already have one of these and what you think about it. And let me know if this is a waste of money. Put your comment down in the comment section and if you're brave, leave it to the end. Maybe you'll change your mind, maybe you'll change the comment. All right guys, let's get into it. All right guys, so the facts about this tool specifically. This is the Festool ETS EC125. This model is the cheapest model that Festool offers. There is the EC150. There is also the Rotex, which is the beefiest orbital sander that they have, and that is meant for taking skin off the bone. The model that I purchased, the EC125, comes with a five inch sander, but it is compatible with six inch pads. Like this one right here, I can take this off, put it on there, and it works perfect. As you can tell, this sander has a long cord, like a long cord. This is a 13 foot long sanding cord. It can reach all the way from one corner of my shop to the other. Obviously my shop's a little small, but it's nice to be able to sand anywhere I want. Just like almost all of your Festool products, you're gonna get a sustainer with it. That is the box that it comes in, and that is the box that you store it in. I'm not the biggest fan of sustainers, just cause like I'm an old school kind of guy. I like to toss my stuff up in the cabinet, but because this tool is so expensive, I'll use it. This sander is a six speed sander. One thing that I really like about it is if I'm sanding something that's soft wood and I don't need to be taking off so much material, I can lower the rate at which it removes material or the speed at which it moves. But if I'm sanding a hardwood, something that's really tough like oak, or walnut, I can go all the way up and give it the work. Being that this is the cheapest sander that Festool offers, this is also the weakest. It is just a tad weaker than its older brother, the EC150 by 60 watts. This is a 250 watt motor, whereas the EC150 is a 310 watt motor. This is made to be a one-handed sander. It is very light. It is very ergonomic, as they say. It fits in your hand really well. You can hold it there. You can hold it with two hands. You can do the work or one-hand it fits really well in your hand and it's very light you know I don't feel like I need to be the biggest strongest man in the room to work it even though I usually am all in all it's a very enjoyable nice sander those are the specs on the sander now what makes it different from all the other models on the market so uh, check out my sanders, bro. All right, so I'm gonna show you my lineup of sanders. I'm gonna tell you why I got them, at what point in my life that I got them, and uh, how much they're worth, or how much they cost, not how much they're worth. Okay, so this is the Skill Orbital Sander. It is a five inch sander. It was good for exactly what I needed it for at the time that I, I bought it. This is a sander that you can find at Walmart, which is somewhere that you go often when you're buying groceries. Uh, you don't wanna buy industrial grade power tools, or just power tools in general or you buy your lettuce, okay? That's tip number one. This is $40, it's got a pressure control sensor on it. It'll tell you if you're pushing too hard, which is kind of nice. There's no speed settings, there's no nothing. It, it is exactly what it is, it is worth $40. There is a reason that this is 10 times more expensive than this. $40, beginner sander. If you're a beginner woodworker, you want stuff that you're gonna be able to throw away and it not hurt you so much. Number two, you can't see it because the cord is wrapped around. This is a Porter Cable Orbital Sander, and this one was 50. You can get this at Lowe's. It's a little bit better quality tool, and it's not very much in price more than that guy. It has all the same specs though. It's got the same kind of dust collection. Uh, it came with a bag, just like every sander in the world, and then you just take it off and it never goes back on because that's what you do. No speed, no nothing, five inch pad. This is another one that's good for a beginner. If you're a little bit more delicate with your tools, 
This is a good one that you can keep for a long time and it'll work for you. Beginner tool though. One that goes with is the square sander. And I will mention square senders very briefly because I think they're absolutely useless. Square sanders are orbital sanders without the usefulness. They are made to get right up into corners, reach the places you can't reach, but I would just rather use an orbital sander for as long as I can and then hand sand. This one, $40. Now, moving on to the sander that I used most and for the longest, the Makita Orbital Sander. Great sander. This is the sander that you get when you now know what you're doing, all right? It's 90 bucks, I think, from Home Depot. It is a good sander, but it died on me as well. If you're doing a whole lot of work and you're, you're sanding hours and hours hours and hours, you'll wear these down. You'll drop it off the table several times. This one I got from a pawn shop because it was Makita and it matched the other one. Like I said before, I'm not really a fan of square sanders. This one you can buy right now today for $60. Maybe this is your, your bag and this is worth it to you. Not so much to me, but good quality brand. So why did I choose Festool and why would anybody on the planet choose Festool when it's that much more expensive than the other brands? At the beginning of the year, I started working in a production grade cabinet shop. That means we make lots of cabinets. Every two days, we produce about a house full of cabinets. That's about 25 cabinets, medium sized house, 25 cabinets every two days. And when you're the new guy, like I was, that means lots of sanding. Sanding is required on every visible piece of the face frame, every finished side, everything that's gonna get paint or stain. So you can imagine, in the first couple of months that I worked there, eight hours a day I was sanding. And guess what I was sanding with? I was using both the EC125 and the 150 to sand every single cabinet. I could tell the difference immediately when I used them. It was like driving a Ford Focus your entire life and then hopping into a Lamborghini. The only issue was I couldn't take those sanders home with me. So I would get home, I'd work on projects. If you look at all of my last few videos, you'll see me sanding with my same old regular sanders. Can you imagine how depressed I was when I would go to work and use these bad boys and then come home and use the garbage I showed you before? Sanding at home sucked. So I immediately started pricing out these sanders, trying to find out how I could get my hands on one. I went to a woodworking show, the Texas Woodworking Festival, and I was able to snag one of these from the guys over at Texas Toolcraft. The decision was clear for me. I know 100% for a fact that I'm gonna be sanding for the rest of my life. So I'm gonna make sure that I have the best equipment to get my work done as efficiently and as seamless as possible. As the wise Benjamin Franklin once said, the best investment is in the tools in one's trade. If I'm going to be here for the rest of my life doing this for the rest of my life, then I'm going to do it with the best tools possible. This sander costs $463 and that includes obviously the sander and the sustainer. Why is the price so high? What do you get more from this sander than the other sanders? Number one, better quality. It's just a better quality product. You drop it on the ground 10 times, you drop the others on the ground 10 times. This one most likely is not going to break. Those most likely will. Okay, that's just a fact. I'm not biased in any way. Festool ain't sending me nothing. Wouldn't it be nice if they did? Thousands of dollars worth of products. Be nice, Festool. Come on, what's up? Number two, versatility. Do you see this? This 13-foot cord, if it's attached to dust collection inside of a hose, inside of a, a housing, this can be exchanged for your EC150. This can be exchanged for your Rotex. Any of the other sanders, if this one breaks down, get rid of it. This goes with the next. In reference to versatility, this pad can come off. This sanding pad can come off. If this is the pad that you get, this is when you're trying to get into grooves. Maybe you're doing some refinishing work, something like that. This one can contour the edges. There are three versions of this pad. There's a soft, there's a medium, and there's the hard. Hard pad is for when you're doing work consistently all the time and you don't want to have to replace your pads. You can use that guy. I always tell people that Festool is like Apple. Yeah, it's expensive, and yeah, it's super mainstream, and all the cool kids have it, or whatever. You may not like Apple, but it is an all-in-one inclusive product. This product connects seamlessly to every dust extractor that they have. The dust extractors complement the product. They are basically soulmates. They are ideally set up to work together. The company Festool are dust extractor experts. Their tools are optimized to keep the dust out of your mouth, out of your nose, out of your lungs, and in the extractors, in the dust bags. This product right here, this one tool, will be used with every single project that comes out of my shop. The miter saw will not. The table saw will not. The band saw, the drill press, the scroll saw won't be used on every product that comes out. This sander will. And that's why this is the tool that I think you should buy from Festool. I am not a tool snob. I want the cheapest tool, but I also want the best tool that exists on the planet. And right now, this is the best sander that I've ever used. It happens to have a high price tag and I'm willing to pay it. And I think you should be too if you take your craft seriously.
Ooh, 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 okay, gross. I know what he'd be licking. I'm sorry if this video offended you. I know a lot of times in my comment section I get people talking mad trash. I get a lot of comments that say, well, if I had these tools, I could do this too. If I had an amazing $20,000 shop, I could do this too. I don't have a $20,000 shop. I, I sought them out. My tools are, some of them are hand-me-downs. A lot of some of them are garage sale finds. All right, guys, if you like this video, like the video. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit that bell, subscribe. Let me know what you thought. Is it worth it to you? Do you think that this sander would be worth it? What kind of woodworking experience do you have? Are you a full-timer that thinks this is worth it or are you a part-timer DIYer that doesn't need it? Let me know what you think, guys.